Hello YouTube. Well, as you can tell by the uh, living room here, it's Christmas time. Two days before Christmas. Christmas Eve Eve. So, uh, uh, I got recruited to put together this um, kitty, kitty, uh, my granddaughter's kitty uh, kitchen. So it's called a kid craft. It all came in this box right here. So it's the kids kid craft made for make believe. It make believe it's uh it's it, that you can even put it together. The mosaic magnetic play kitchen. Coral. I guess coral might be the color. So it came in that box and it was heavy. So we undid the box and all these pieces were all laying flat in the box all oh, say 150 pieces or whatever i don't know probably more than that so i want to go uh and i apologize in advance if this doesn't help you i'm trying to help and i might have to do this in part one and part two okay so i'm going to quickly run over the steps you've got this um this instruction sheet here and there are 44 steps to putting this together it's all right here. So I'm going to try to quickly go through these steps. But first, this is the uh, container that the screws came in. And the long screws here, uh, if you use the long screws where the short screws go first, then you're going to run out of long screws, which we did. Uh, and we put the long screws in right here and here right off the bat and should have had short screws. And I screwed in too tight and it split the, what I call sawdust there, sawdust board. Because uh, I ran it in a little too hard with my uh, drill driver. So set your drill driver all the way on the lowest torque position. Uh, and set this on the slowest speed. Set it on one. So you don't run them down and split the wood or the fake wood. Okay, so the first two pieces we put together was this piece and this piece. And that's number one. And so you see the little dot, the little uh, stickers on it with number one. And number two, this has a two on it somewhere. So these two screws are the first two we put together. And it was laying there. And so that's step one. Uh, so we made a mistake right off the bat. We used the long screws here. Should have used short screws. We use the A screws instead of the C screws. All right, step two. Uh, the next piece, which was board three, just, um, oh, I don't even know. Uh, I think this is board three. Yeah. Board three just kind of slides in there. I don't even think it has any screws because it's just got the grooves on it. So that's step two. Step three, so then you've got, uh, I don't know, one, uh, two, let's see, one, something like two, three, four. All right, so step three is putting in board four on the bottom. That's the big board across the bottom here, all the way across the bottom. Uh, step four. Is putting on the next part of the box, which is um, this one, I guess. So uh, that's probably step four. Um, just has one screw again. Use use screw C, which is a short screw. Putting the box together. Uh, when you're first going together, put them put C instead of A screws because C are shorter. Okay, now the step five is putting the side on, which is uh, that side way over there. The whole sideboard, which is this sideboard, that's step five. It uses two A screws, which is two long ones, and two C screws, which is two short ones. And I'm not sure where they, which ones go where, so i try to figure it out. All right, step five. Step six is putting this little valance across the bottom here, all the way across the bottom, step six. And you use, uh, E is a uh, the wood dowel. 
and you use an A screw, which is the uh, uh, the long screw. That's step six. Step seven is um, you use another A screw, which is right here. Step seven is that one right there. Um, and you'll put on, I guess, this end right here. And you put on this, uh, this long piece on the right side here. That's step seven. And so there you'll use uh, four wood pieces. E is those little wood. Let me show you these little wood dowels. And I got all these leftovers. Uh, I've not all the way put it together yet. So uh, that's step seven. And eight goes on. Uh, this is number eight, I think, right here. We can't get it all the way together tonight because we've got to go get some more long screws tomorrow. I think that's step eight right there. Or that's number eight. And we're on step eight. So step nine is uh, putting the C screws. That's short screws again. Right here. Two here and two here. Once again, we use the long ones and by mistake. Now we run out of long screws. That's where we're at. Uh, that's step nine. Step ten is uh, putting these little things on here. All right, that's step ten. Uh, and you put them through, and you uh, put these little keepers on the back side to hold them on the back side there. Uh, that's your uh, knobs. Uh, there's Another little piece that goes in, so you got the little, uh, the, you got the knob, and then another little piece, and then the piece on the back that holds them on. And that's on this board across the front here. That's step nine, 10. Try to go quicker. I might have to make this in three parts. Step 11 is the same thing. Just putting these little keepers on the back side of those uh, knobs for your stove top knobs. All right, step 12 is, uh, again, you should be using A screws here. A screws are the longer screws, and they go in uh, two screws here. Not sure why that's even there. Don't think it even belongs in there. And uh, A screw in here holding this together on this end. Uh, and I think there was a, Supposed to be a couple of wood dowels. No, maybe not. Okay, so that is um, step 12. Step 13 is, uh, this is important. We missed this step. And so now we're gonna have to take this whole top back off again. Cause um, this goes in here, goes in that little slot and you got to raise it up for, so step 13 don't forget to put this in step 13 step and that's all you all you do is just lay it down in the little groove there step 13 step 14 is uh, slide uh, these two parts down on the back and go around here uh, these two boards on the back slide down in these grooves before you put the top on here and before you put any of this on up here, you're going to slide these down into these grooves. Very easy. All right. And you can go ahead and slide this one down too. I don't think it hurts anything. So slide all those backer boards in. That is um, step 12. We go to step, uh, wait a minute, uh, 12. That was step 14 said number 12. I guess they got number 12 to identify the little slider thing. Step 14. Step 15. Now they're putting this, um, oh yeah, we're putting the faucet on. Step 15, putting the faucet on. Got those same little, little things. This is that right there. That holds the faucet on underneath there. So you put the faucet onto the, uh, onto this board. That's step 15, 16. Uh, I'm not sure what it's even showing here. Oh, it's showing the sliding this 